this is Kim Constable, CEO and founder of the Work at Home Moms Network. And today I am very excited to present the most amazing woman to you. It's a, a wonderful interview that I have been so excited to do. And it is with Saya Machen, who is the CEO and founder of Machen Digital, uh, which is a uh, search engine and marketing and social media company, which helps businesses to be found online. They create, plan and execute complex digital strategies for clients to help them achieve their sales targets online. And Saya used to be a work at home mom, and she now is not no longer working from home because her company has grown so much that she has an office, and in fact, two offices, and she really recently expanded into Finland as well. So we're very excited to uh, to have Saya here um, doing this interview with us for the network members. And um, that is a very short bio. Hello, Saya. How are you today? You well? Hi, thank you. Thanks for the introduction. So oh, well, I hope well, I got you. it. Uh, I, I hope I, I gave you uh, enough credibility. You did, you did, definitely, it sounded very good, definitely, oh. thank you for having me. Oh, it's wonderful to have you here, and thank you for agreeing to uh, to do this interview with us, I'm excited to to chat to you today. And tell me, Saya, can you just tell us a little bit about your business and your family and your background and yourself? Yeah, sure, so um, as you already mentioned, I'm a mom and I'm also a business owner. I have two businesses now here in the UK and in Scandinavia as well. Um, I have a daughter who's um, three and a half years old now and I have a husband. And in terms of my background, I, I'm originally from Finland, but I've lived in the UK for the past 11 years. Mm -hmm. And I used to work for some of the biggest media agencies here in London. And um, once I found myself pregnant with my with my daughter, I decided to start my own company, doing the same thing: digital marketing, search engine optimization, and so forth. Um, but obviously, with with the demands of the family and me wanting to be flexible around my daughter's needs and, and my husband's needs as well, mm -hmm. and, and my own. Um, I decided that going it on my own would be, would be the best solution. Oh, wonderful. And what made you decide then to become a work at home mom? Was it after you had your daughter that you, is that when you um, first got the idea of launching your own business? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur or my, my business, but I didn't really know at what stage of my life it would fit in. But I guess when I was on maternity leave and I kind of, the, the going back work, to work was looming ahead and, and I did really long hours at the, the agency sometimes or quite often actually. And, and I just felt that, well, you know, I, I wouldn't see my daughter or, or my husband for that matter um, so much as I would like to. I, I don't want to put my daughter straight away in the nursery when she's mm -hmm. three months old or or four months old, so, so yeah, I, I guess the idea was even more enhanced, the, my vision was more enhanced that on, on maternity, and, and I, I think I started around when, when my daughter was three, four months old, and that's when I started to get more clients, and think of a name for the company, and register it, and form it, and so forth, so yeah, definitely the, the, it's a very the male, arrival of my um, daughter made me. Yeah, it's a very male-dominated environment, isn't it? The the big corporate companies, you know, it's it's more suited. Well, I, I mean, that may be a generalization, but I think it's more suited to to a male, um, maybe a single male who's working those long hours and and isn't, you know, looking after children and balancing and juggling life and family life as well. Is that true? Definitely. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, it's. I think in, in the agencies I've been to, the ratio is probably. 70 to 30 percent between males and females so it's definitely male dominated and i, I guess um in a lot of countries but especially in the uk it's uh, it's very always almost expected that the woman the mother will stay at home with the with their daughters and sons and take care of the family mm -hmm. and, the, and the man goes to work and, and kind of uh, he will be the breadwinner and so forth. But I've always been very independent. I wanted to contribute myself, and I've always loved to work. I, I, I'm passionate about what I do. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't an option for me just to stay at home. I wanted to work as well. So right. I guess combining work and family life was, was ideal. Right, yes, I'm exactly the same. And I think most of our moms are as well. 
Um, tell me, describe a typical day for you. I mean, what from you know what from what time do you get up? This may seem like very boring, but actually, all of our members are really interested in this stuff. You know, how does your typical day work out? How do you manage your time? How do you manage your tasks? How do you decide what's the most important? You know, what what's a day like for you? A typical day. Um, well, the typical day, I don't think there is a typical day, actually, it's very heavy, <laughs> as we know. Um, as moms, we need to be very, very organized. Mm -hmm. um, I usually plan ahead, like, well, I plan ahead, I have yearly plans, I have six monthly plans, three months, and then I have weekly and a daily plan as well, so, so I'm extremely organized, and the calendar is my best friend. Um, but typical day... Um, I have breakfast with my family, then I take my daughter to the nursery, she's, she's full time now in nursery because I, I work in an office, mm -hmm. but then I try to pick her up quite early if I can, so I still have that quality time with her, mm -hmm. I take her to the nursery a little bit later if I can, and you know, hopefully I can delegate all that hectic work related stuff to my team, so I can still have that nice balance. Right. between the family time and, and the office time, so to speak. So so I guess um, that's my typical day, but in between, you know, say 9 and 4 o'clock, anything can happen in the office, but that's, right. that's work and that's what I love to do. I love to be busy, but I have to say that, you know, you need to be very organized. Right, that was my next organized. question. I was going to ask, how, how important do you think, I think it's one of the, the, a lot of the feedback that I get from the members through all the questionnaires and surveys that I do and just from speaking to people is one of the hardest things that they find is balancing or is, is time management is knowing you know how to fit in a business in and around their family time how to dedicate those hours you know it's one of the biggest things that they struggle with what advice would you give or what would you say is important for a mom who's starting her own business from home um, in terms of time management or goal setting or what, what's worked for you and what advice could you give um, well, I think planning, 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 mm -hmm. that's, that's the biggest and, and the best advice I can give. So plan your day properly, plan every minute of your day, have your calendar, your diary, write everything down so you won't forget things. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with networks like this one, mm -hmm. so you know, surround yourself with people who can help you manage your time, can give you tips and advice in terms of how to make it through the day and through the week. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I, I have Excel sheets with, with all, all these work documents for, for what I want to do today, and then I just tick them off the list as I go along. Um, but, but I guess the support network has been one of the biggest things to help me manage my day and delegate some of the tasks. There's nothing wrong with asking help and making sure that, mm -hmm. you know, you have people who, who can give that help to you so you don't have to do everything in this world on your own yeah i'm laughing because i'm actually i'm so the same i'm such an anal planner about everything i've been planning. i'm even just looking at us with our dark hair and our hoop earrings <laughs> we could actually be sisters <laughs> looking at each other that's funny but it's very true and it's something that i preach and preach and preach and preach about i'm saying if you are it, it shocks me how many work at home moms don't have a diary a daily diary that they write all their tasks in and schedule things forward. And I preach and preach and preach about the importance of time management. And if you are running a busy house and running a company, then you need to be very tight with time management. So that's a really good tip that you've given. And what would you say your biggest challenge is? Or actually, you take it back to whenever you were working from home and you just started your company and your daughter was very young. I remember you telling me that you had uh, you took her to like a big corporate meeting when she was like four months old and she like slept under the table. Is that true? Yes, that's true, believe it or not. Now looking back at it myself, I'm thinking, did I really do that? No, I still the needs must, way. needs must. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, crazy times, but they were good times, so yeah. Um, what was your, what was your biggest challenge much. back then? Um, back then, I guess the biggest challenge was to start the company up, you know, deal with all the, obviously I was just the one mom one woman band so mm. now i have teams helping me i have accountants and you know people working for me and things like that but then i was doing it all on my own i was trying to obviously take care of my daughter and i was trying to do it as well as i could i was going to these meetings with my daughter even and you know trying to do the accounting and 
and the work and, and pitching for clients and things like that. Um, so I guess, yes, the, the biggest uh, challenge was to, you know, try to do all those things well. But I guess the biggest learning was that I would surround my, I, I decided that I would then surround myself with people who could help me. For example, when I did take my daughter to this meeting, and it was quite funny, but the next meeting that happened, I made sure I had another mom from a, from a network of moms that I mm-hmm. kind of surrounded myself with, and she would take her for a little walk, and she would have a nap at that time when I went to pitch to these clients. And so it, things became easier, things, things did become easier, and, and I also hired an accountant who could look at the numbers Very and work important. out all the taxes and things like that. Like, can be very overwhelming tasks. So, I know. Um, Isn't it amazing what we do as moms sometimes? You know, like you said, you're you know, you had a friend taking her for a walk while you're having a meeting and you're having to literally switch modes from okay, now I'm a mother and I'm feeding my daughter or whatever to okay, now I'm businesswoman and I'm presenting this and then we go back to mother again, you know, we just we switch in yeah. and out of these roles all day and like that can be one of the cha- most challenging parts, you know, it can be quite quite tiring as well, you know, having to take one hat off and put another hat on and I found yes. so it's challenging. Yes, no, no, it's true. I, I completely agree. But I guess that's why uh, us moms, we have, well, myself, I have few groups that I got known when I was pregnant and we went to these baby groups and, and all kinds of stuff. But uh, so I guess the baby groups now have changed to ladies nights out. And right. We let our hair down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cocktails instead of coffee. Yes, we need it sometimes. It doesn't happen too often, no. but you know, when it happens, we really need it. And it, it you know, yeah, it, it, I think it, a support it, network is really important. I mean, that's why I started this network because, you know, I really struggled with finding a support network of work at home moms who, you know, once who were really serious about their business and, you know, and, uh, cause quite often, you know, for me, my business was never just a hobby. It was a business and I wanted it to be that way. So I was, you know, finding a network of moms who were doing the same thing and having those same challenges was, was difficult. I couldn't find one. So, which is why I've started this one. So it's good that you brought that up. <laughs> um, and tell me, what is the best piece of advice you were ever given that has stood you in good stead throughout your whole working journey or even just uh, in life in general um, that you could pass on to our members? Um, I guess the best advice has been that think big, don't, you know, don't let anything stop you. We will always have days when we feel like, oh, you know, it's all too much and I have mm-hmm. too many tasks to deal with and I can't be a mom and a wife and a businesswoman and a friend and mm-hmm. all these things. But I think that one thought, think big, you can do it. Whatever you set your mind to, you, you can achieve that. I, I think it's been the best when I've had those moments where I think, you know what, I'm too tired, I just want to go back mm-hmm. under the duvet and, and, and sleep for the next week. So yeah, it's just kept me motivated and inspired. And I think that advice was from my dad, actually, who was an entrepreneur himself, and, and he's been running a successful business for the, as long as I can remember, probably as for the past 30 years or something. Are so, your parents um, proud yeah. of you? Is your dad proud of you? Yes, he is, yes. He's very proud. He's very nice. Nice feeling for me. Yeah. Um, even at this age, you know, I feel like a little girl when he says he's proud of me. Always, always. But it makes it all worthwhile, you know. It's uh, Because really, I mean, what, he probably did it to give you a better life and to give your family a better life, and we're doing it for the same reason. So it's, uh, yeah. you know, it is, it is always, you're always doing it for your kids. Um, and tell me, do you use any virtual assistance in your business, or do you have all, or, or do all your staff work with you in your in your offices? Um, no, we do use virtual assistant. I guess my accountant, in a way, is, mm-hmm. is our virtual assistant because they are not working in the office. We outsource the accounting, mm-hmm. so we do have, we have everything online, and we only communicate through Skype and and emails and, and so forth. So we don't have anyone sitting here every day because I don't need accountants right. every day. So it's kind of cost efficient that way as well. And then we have like uh, CRMs, customer relation mm-hmm. management tools and things like that that we use virtual solutions for. Um, so yeah, no, no, I, I think the accountancy is the most efficient one because obviously you have to pay for these services, but if you outsource them, right, it's cost efficient, yeah? Yeah. Do you know that's interesting because my business is actually reverse. Um, all of my 
accountancy, I, I meet with my accountant and he it's actually the one thing that isn't virtual for me, whereas my whole other team is virtual. So it's we're we're actually in reverse. So but then of course I work from home, so I couldn't possibly have everybody here sitting in this tiny little office with me. It would be funny. Oh, well, they might like it. Yeah, I know. And uh, how important, well, we kind of covered this. I mean, my next question was how important do you fe feel it is to have the support of other mums? But I suppose we could maybe go over it again. I mean, do you now still have a network of mums that you would call on or rely upon or um, that you can call on in times of need? Yes, no, definitely, absolutely. It's very important. It doesn't stop when, when you go back to work or, you know, for me, when I started to work from office rather than home, it doesn't, that support doesn't stop and I hope it never stops. And actually, I find that because as moms, we are so driven and ambitious, we want to do well for our family and, and so forth, we want to be good role models. What I've noticed that when I've hired people into the team, I particularly, well, not to say I won't hire whoever I think is good, but I've, I've kind of... Uh, learn to notice that parents who I hire are very, very loyal and they are hard workers for the same reasons as we are. You know, they have their family, they want to be good role models and do well for them. So actually I have a few mums in my team working for me and, and we support each other, we, are, we understand each other and we understand the needs of, of our professional life and, and the family life. So it works really well. So yeah, definitely I have, I have mums in my team and outside my team as a support network that I can ask advice from. Oh, that's wonderful. I have such a good group of friends as well. It's brilliant. Um, okay, this is a kind of a, a, a you know, a curveball really, but to what do you attribute your success? I mean, do you have something special that other people don't have? Do you, or do you, you know, were you born with some special trait or special quality or like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm joking really, but what, to what do you attribute the success that you've enjoyed with Math and Digital? I don't think I have any superpowers, no, <laughs> I, you know, I wish. <laughs> um, I think it's just the ambition, the, the, the drive that I have, the, the will to succeed. I really want to do so well. I wake up every morning, I, I come to the office every day of the week, even if I'm feeling ill or tired, I don't stop. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just the drive, the, the internal drive that I have and the inspiration that I have, the passion that I have for for my family and, and for my business at the same time. Yeah, so so not, nothing too supernatural, we all have it. It's right, it's like a determination to, to succeed. And then obviously, you know, like you said, like you just show up, you show up every day, you show up to work, you just yeah. do it, you, um, you know, and it's funny, I was actually listening to an interview yesterday with somebody and this, this woman said it was really inspiring and I thought it was very true. She said, whenever you are doing work that is the truest expression of you and who you are, you never, ever, ever get tired of it because it's every time you work more, every time you do more, you're being more you. So every time yeah. you show up and you do it, you're expressing yourself more and more and you're bringing out more and more and more of you because your work is you. And you'll never get tired of it. You'll never get sick of it. You don't, you know, you just, you love it because it is who you are. And I thought, is that such a wonderful way to put it? You know, my, my work is more of me. And uh, yeah. do you feel that way in your business? Yes, completely. The motivation is completely different because it, it's my baby, this mm -hmm. business as well. It's my second baby and my third baby <laughs> now in Scandinavia. Yes, your third baby. So I need to provide for them. I need to make sure they grow healthy and, and big and you know they can be proud of them. And that's such a lovely way of putting it. Like my business is my baby and I need to make sure it's healthy and strong. And maybe that's why yeah. working on moms and moms in general do create such wonderful businesses because we do really put a lot of, you know, passion and energy and drive into our businesses the same way that we do with our kids. You know, we nurture in, in the same way. Not to say that men don't. Not slating, not man bashing at all here in any way. But just that I, I think that women businesses generally do have a very strong aspect on compassion and and understanding and connection, which really, you know, does, they tend to be quite successful. Yeah, yeah. completely. Wonderful. And okay, so finally, what is the best piece of advice you could give a mum thinking of starting a home-based business? Um, planning, do some very, very thorough and like granular that. planning. Mm -hmm. So put, it, put your business plan on a paper, Get your mum friends and, and network. This, you know, you, you 
you have connections or join a network like this one and get posts together in terms of do they think your business idea is good or should it be worked on? Put your thoughts on a paper. What's your one year plan? What's your half a year plan? Mm-hmm. Plan and, and the next three months. Plan your finances well. I guess in the start you have to be ready to put in some some hours, mm-hmm. and hopefully they will balance out um, as you go along, as well as some investments, depending on what type of business you're starting. So you know you might have to put in some savings, but you will get the, you will reap the rewards later on. Yeah. Um, just be ambitious about it. Believe in what you're doing, and and I, I think if if you believe in success. It will come to you. Yeah, so planning, hard work, and self belief. I think that those are, yeah, (laughs) I think those are three wonderful qualities. I think it's something that definitely I would support 100% in the network. And tell me, what uh, plans do you have for Mahan Digital in the future? I mean, what, where are you going with the company? What are your, what are your long term goals with it? Uh, We have big plans. So at the moment, we are talking to various people and partners in, um, France, for example, we are in the process of opening an office there, and also in Australia, we have few people that we connected with that we were kind of maybe not this year, but maybe 2014, we'll see launch of a couple new new offices. Wow! Uh, so you're going global with Man Digital. Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. You know, the sky is the limit. Yeah. For domination. Why not? That's exciting, and if you're if you do go into Australia, let me know because my husband's Australian and we have all of our family and friends there. He's from Brisbane. Oh yeah, okay, I will. Yes, yes. See, you see, see, this is how it works. It's the connections yeah. that women make. That's that's how it works. Oh well, that's great. And actually, I just have one more question before we go. We're kind of running out of time, but um, if you I, if you were to give a, a work at home mom who was considering to do pay per click advertising, which I know is your speciality or one of your specialities. What advice would you give someone with a small budget who wanted to do, you know, some get some exposure on the internet and do some pay per click advertising? Well, I guess if you had small budget, there's few things you could start with. So not necessarily pay per click straight away. So maybe you would want to start with search engine optimization and social media okay. that are the so called free channels. But if you weren't sure how to do it, for example, if, if you want to an expert like us do it for you it's it's much more cost efficient and you only pay for our time rather than google itself um so making sure that your business is found for the right keywords for the core keywords what are you selling what are your services and create content around that and then also uh, you should create social media profiles like twitter google plus facebook interest, LinkedIn, and so mm-hmm. forth, whatever platform you feel that would be most relevant to you and be active at those. Um, but then in terms of Google paper click, I guess that's the quickest and most instant way of getting visibility for your website. But there's two sides to it, so you will obviously have to pay to Google mm-hmm. every time someone clicks your sponsored ad. And then if you don't you know if you can't manage the campaign because you don't have the knowledge and so forth, then you would have to pay an agency to take care of it as well. But I guess with Google AdWords, the good thing is that you can you can start as small as five pounds per day, for example. Mm-hmm. So it's not a huge risk. So we could do a little trial campaign, for example, and you could see what response you get and so forth. And then I guess increase the investment as as the results start to come in and you you can identify what works and what doesn't. Mm, wonderful. Okay, so work at home mums, if you are serious about investing in your business, then what you need to do is contact martindigital.co.uk and uh, have a look around their website. It's a wonderful website. It's really good wealth of information. Subscribe to Saya's mailing list because she sends out really good blog posts and really good articles, which even if you don't use her services, will help you to think about your business in a completely different way. So make sure you seek out advice of the experts if you're going to go down that road, which I think it actually is really important because we can do some things ourselves, but when it comes to really growing our business, the more we invest in it, not only financially, but in terms of time, the greater the rewards, I believe. So uh, mathandigital.co.uk, isn't that right, Saya? That's right. 
That's correct, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Listen, thank you so much for this interview. It has been amazing to catch up with you today and all of the information that you've given us has been really helpful and really insightful and we wish you all the best for Mahan Digital in the future and we're excited to see what's uh, what's going to come of it in the future. And actually, um, members or whammies as I call you, uh, Saya is going to um, occasionally pop into the discussion boards. Um, she is a premium network member, so she's going to pop in and out of discussion boards and sometimes you may have the opportunity to ask her a question directly and if you have that opportunity believe me you do not want to miss it so make sure you keep up to date with the discussion boards and see what's happening in there and she's going to be keeping an eye on things anyway occasionally when she has time and uh, maybe helping us out with a few uh, a few articles and a few questions so Saya thank you so much again for your time it has been wonderful to chat to you and I wish you all of the very best with your businesses and with your ventures in the future Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And we will talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.